Hi, good day, welcome to Science Co. Love. And for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the incomplete dominance. For our learning competency, I will explain the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance. Specifically, we will focus on explaining the incomplete dominance pattern of inheritance. But before that, let's define what is incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance is a form of inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely dominant over the other allele. This results in a third phenotype in which the expressed physical trait is combination or blending of the phenotype of the parents. In short, sa incomplete dominance ay nagkakaroon ng third phenotype from the combination of the phenotype or traits ng parents. This is a snap dragon flower. We have different colors of flower, such as red, white, pink flower. And this is an example of incomplete dominance, in which both alleles are present, resulting in an intermediate phenotype. Para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano ang incomplete dominance, I will show you an example. This is a cross between parent homozygous red flower plant, RR. Bakit siya homozygous? Dahil it made up of identical genes, which is R and R. And homozygous white flower, WW, will produce an offspring with heterozygous pink flower, RW. So, heterozygous siya because it made up of the similar genes, tulad ng R and W. So, huwag kayong mali rito sa terminology natin na ginamit na homozygous. Kapag homozygous, similar genes. WW and R and R. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa illustration natin, krenos natin yung dalawang genotype ng parent and ang magiging result niya for first generation is pink flower. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang third phenotype niya is pink flower. And this is the best example of incomplete dominance. Nagkaroon ng combination of colors, resulting on the third phenotype, which is pink flower. Now, let's move on to the proponent of incomplete dominance. Let's talk about Carl Korens, 1864-1933. He is known as a German botanist who conducted an experiment on four o'clock flowers. As you can see in our illustration, this is an illustration of four o'clock flowers. This experiment leads to the discovery of incomplete dominance. Now, let's have some example of incomplete dominance. So, dito na tayo sa ating example, number one. A cross between red and white flower using a palette square. So we will use an allele for red flower, R, and the allele for white flower, which is W. Now, at this is the example of a palette square ng ating red flower and white flower. As you can see, we will use R genotype, R and R genotype for red flower and WW genotype for white flower. Sa Panet Square, ganito lang yung gagawin nyo. Kukrush nyo lang yung R and W sa upper side and left corner. Then, ang magiging result niyan is RW. It should be alphabetical arranged. RW. So, the result phenotype is pink flower. And the genotype is RW. On the second box naman, for Panet Square, same process then. Of course, mo si R and W. So, the result genotype is RW. And for the phenotype is pink flower. And for the third box, as you can see, kukrush mo yung letter R na allele on the top and W allele on the left corner. 
Then the result genotype is RW and the phenotype is pink flower. And for our last box, sa Punnett Square, same process pa rin. Cross mo si R allele and W allele. So the result genotype is RW and the phenotype is pink flower. So this is a Punnett Square. A cross between red and white flower. Now, let us answer the following questions. First, what is the genotype of the flower? Now, for genotype, para mas madali natin maintindihan, what is genotype? It is an organism's genetic makeup. So, ang ginagamit natin dito is letters only. So, titingin kayo dito sa loob ng box na yan. Ang ating genotype is RW. Okay? So, for number two, question, what is the pin type of the flower? So, when we talk about phenotype, it is an outward physical appearance and behavior of an organism. So, description ang ginagamit natin dito or descriptive words ang ginagamit natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang naging result ng final square natin sa loob ng box are pink flowers. So, apat na pink flowers yan. So, the phenotype is pink flower for number two question. And next, for number three question, what is the genotypic ratio? So, when we talk about the genotypic ratio, bibilangin nyo lang kung ilang RW ang naging result from the Punnett square. So, we have one, two, three, and four. So, our answer is four is to zero. So, for number four question, what is the phenotypic ratio? So, for phenotypic ratio, number pa rin ang gagamitin natin. So, ilan ang pink flower na lumabas dito? Of course, we have four pink flower. So, our answer for phenotypic ratio is four is to zero. For our fifth and the last question, state the probability in percent of the offspring inheriting pink flowers. Ang ibig sabihin nito, ilang percent ang magiging result niya is pink flower kapag krenos natin si red and white flower. So as you can see in our Punnett square, ang naging result is lahat ay naging pink flower. So our answer is 100%. So, why 100%? Just try to imagine, kada box na nasa loob dito, sa Punnett Square, is equivalent of 25%. At kung mapapansin nyo, ilang box ang meron tayo, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes. So, 25% times 4 is equal to 100%. So, our answer for number 5 question, or 5th question, 100% that the flowers will be pink in color as you can see in our Punnett Square. So, ganun lang kadali, sagutan yung first example natin. Now, let's move on to the second example. Example number 2. Cross between red and pink flower using a Punnett Square. So, we have a given allele for red flower or and pink flower for RW. So, you are going to use a Punnett square. So, kung nakapagsagot ka na, square for example number 2. Okay? So, let us answer questions number 1 to 5. So, this for number 1 to 5 questions. So, first, number 1, what are the genotype of the flower? Our answer R, 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 and R, W. Based to sa lumabas na Punnett Square. So, kung mapapasin nyo, merong R, R dito, dalawa yun, and R, W, dalawa din. So, yun ang nilagay natin na answer for number 1. And number 2, what are the phenotype of the flower? So, we have red and pink flower. Bakit red and pink flower? So, kapag R and R, that is red. And RW, 
that is pink flower. Okay, now for number three and number four, our answer is two is to two. Bakit? Dahil yung R and R natin sa Planet Square, we have two R and R. Kaya two ang answer natin. And for pink flower or RW, we have two RW. Kaya another two. So our answer is two is to two. The same with phenotypic ratio. And for our fifth and the last, state the probability and percent of the offspring inheriting pink flowers. So ilan dyan ang magiging result is pink flower. Only 50% of the flowers will be pink in color. Why? Because inside our planet square, we only have two RW, which represents the phenotype of pink flower. So we have two boxes here. So ulitin ko, at the box is equivalent of 25%. Dahil dalawang box yan, 25 times 2 is equal to 50%. Now, for example number 3, let us cross between white and pink flower using Planet Square. White and pink naman. So, first, you're going to use a Planet Square. Result for the Planet Square. Check nyo kung tama yung sagot nyo. If correct, very good. So, we are going to answer number 1 to 5 questions. So, first, what are the genotype of the flower? For number 1, we have WW and RW. Based ito sa ating planet square. Or result ng ating planet square. And for number two, what are the pink type of the flower? Our answer is white and pink flower. Why white flower? Dahil WW ang genotype na lumabas sa ating planet square. And bakit pink flower? Because we have RW ang naging result from the planet square. And next, number three, what is the genotypic ratio? Our answer is 2 is to 2. Bakit? We have 2 RW and 2 WW. And for phenotypic ratio, we also have 2 is to 2. Same with genotypic ratio. Because we have 2 white flower and 2 pink flower. And for our last question, state the probability in percent of the offspring inheriting pink flowers. Our answer is 50% based on our planet square. We have 2RW which represents the phenotype of pink flower. So only 50% lang. Or this will be our last example. A cross between pink and pink flower using a planet square. So kung mapapansin nyo, i-cross natin yung dalawang pink flower. Now, what will be the result using a panel square? As you can see, we have the result. And let us answer the question number 1 to 5. Now, this, these are the answer for example number 4 based on our panel square. What are the genotype of the flower? Our answer are R and R, RW and WW. Based ito sa result ng planet square ito sa loob ng box. And for number two, what are the phenotype of the flower? We have red, pink, and white flower. Red because it represents the R and R genotype. And white pink because it represents RW genotype. And white flower, it represents genotype WW. For third question, what is the genotypic ratio? So dito, bibilangin nyo lang kung ilang genotype ang lumabas. Okay? Per color. For example, 
R and R. We have only one R and R, kaya one ang nilagay natin dito. And two, bakit? We have R, W, and another R, W. So, dalawa siya. And last, we have one for W, W. So, our answer for genotypic ratio is one is to two is to one. So, the same answer tayo for phenotypic ratio. 1 is to 2 is to 1 because we only have 1 red flower, 2, red fla 2 pink flowers, and 1 white flower. Now, let's move on to our last question. State the probability in percent of the offspring inheriting pink flowers. So, based on our Punnett square, we only have 50% that the flowers will be in pink color. So, you can see in this Punnett square result, RW and RW. So, we only have 2. So, times 25% is equal to 50%. And that's all for this day. So, thank you for your listening.